After surviving a brush with death after contracting Ebola, North Texas Dr. Kent Brantley plans to tell Congress today about his experiences. Brantley was evacuated from West Africa in early August after he was sickened by Ebola. He's one of four aid workers to be infected with the disease during this latest outbreak that's killed more than 2,300 people in that region. Today, the Obama administration is wrapping up its response to West Africa's Ebola crisis, going to send 3,000 military personnel to the region to provide medical and logistical support. KBS Tina Shively has been digging up more on President Obama's plans ahead of his announcement today. She has details from our breaking news social media desk. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Brian. Yeah, President Obama is now calling this a national security priority, and he's asking for $88 million to help put an end to the Ebola outbreak once and for all. We expect the president to talk today at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. Senior administration officials tell us that the effort will focus on control, logistics training, and engineering support. It will create a joint force command headquarters in Liberia. That's one of the hardest hit West African nations. It will also provide engineers to build treatment units up to 17 separate facilities with 100 beds each. Healthcare workers will also get some training there from U.S. military personnel. Very important. And the mission will also start a campaign to train families how to protect themselves and also to help loved ones who do show symptoms of this deadly disease. The administration hopes to get the ground, the force on the ground within the next couple of weeks. This outbreak really broke out back in February in West Africa, Brian and Yvonne. So time is really of the essence. They want to try and put an end to it because, of course, there is no cure. Tina, we appreciate that. And then our sound off this morning, we're asking what you think about the resources the president plans to commit to fighting the Ebola virus. Well, Michelle questions, what are the troops supposed to do? How are they trained for this? And James simply writes, keep troops away from those people. You can share your thoughts, too, by logging onto the KVU Insider Facebook page. And we're going to see you tomorrow for another KVU Sound Off topic.